this is Rahan. Oh, no, this is Virgil. We're going to make a drag sakar, and I've got my base. What um, did you use to, to make that? So I used uh, Adobe Illustrator, mm -hmm. and I designed my little base for my drag star. And now I want you to help me put together the circuit for the car. Excellent. What we've got is this dragster kit, which we got from Scorpio Technology, and we'll give you the link for that. Then it's got exactly the same design base as what you've printed over there, correct? Yep. Okay, so what we're going to do is take out the parts that we need. I need my motor, I need my switch, and I need my battery pack. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to use these three elements to be able to create um, a, a system that's going to turn my motors on and off using this switch. Okay, so at the moment, we've got the switch set to A position. We're going to call that the on position. And essentially, the pin that's coming out of the switch is then going to run the current directly to the motor. Inside this switch system is a gate that when it switches to off position, the gate opens up and therefore the current can't run through from the battery. So I'm going to put the battery into the second position um, of the switch and I've then got my motor running to the other section of the switch so when I put it on and I close the gate then I create a full circuit running from the battery through the switch to the motor. When I open that switch up it stops the current flowing to the motor and so for, therefore the motor turns off. I suggest that we use obviously the black wire from the battery is going to attach to one end of the motor to be the ground wire mm -hmm. and then we're going to need additional red wire to run to the switch and then the switch is going to connect to the battery. So I just want to make this around 10 centimetres long. It doesn't need to be too long, but I am going to strip the wire and I'm going to twist that up. So the next thing I'm going to do is connect one side to the motor, but I'm going to imply that this is the direction that the current's passing through. So on the other side of it, I just found that this wire here is a little short, so what I'm going to do is just strip that. I don't want to pull the wires out of the battery pack, so I get a really good grip on that and pull that back. And it exposes a little bit more wire, which makes it easier for me to thread into the motor. So that's essentially the motor being wired up. And now what I'm going to do is attach this, this, these two red wires to the switch and as you'll see by doing that I'm going to create a nice circuit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to now solder this. Would you like to do the honours? Ooh, I can see it spinning. So thanks for taking us through how to connect one motor to a switch uh, for our little dragsters. Totes my pleasure. And I guess if people want to watch and learn about how to do two motors with the Arduino, they can watch this video or this video.